All right. So. What I want to show you guys today is something that I posted onto Google Classroom, which is a study planner. Um, so it is there if you guys want to use it. Um, I just want to kind of go over study techniques and recommendations so you guys uh, can learn those skill sets. So basically all I've done is I created a calendar um, from last week. Some of you guys might have started using it already uh, until the end of the exam season. The reason why I find this really helpful is so that way you guys can see the big picture uh, thinking of where all your deadlines are, so that way you can prioritize your study uh, and not burn yourself out. So the first thing I would do when going through and making a study plan is I would note all the exams that I have. Uh, what I've designed this for is so that way you can stick the exam on the top of the day next to the date. Uh, so for example, you guys have your level two chem exam on the 17th. So uh, chem exam and it is at 2 p.m. Find it useful to note time. And what I'm going to do is just highlight that in yellow so that way I can clearly see that's one of my exams. Um, the other thing I could put down is all my other subjects. A lot of you guys are taking um, biology. Biology is on the 24th. And that one is at, I think, 9.30. Um, let's look at the ends of QA. I think most of you guys would be taking English. So I just want to do this as an example. So November, huh? I'm not. So English exam. That one is. Where'd you go? English. Nine thirty. So I'm just putting in a couple as an example. Um. Guessing a lot of you guys are taking math? Should we put in math as well? All right, is it math and stats? Yes. All right, so stats is on the 9th of November. And that one is 9.30. I can put in calculus as well. It's just to help kind of give you guys an idea of how to use this sheet. And then, yeah, I'm checking ends of QA, and I've linked it onto the study planner, so that way you don't have to even hunt around for it. Uh, calculus, math. Um, math and statistics, accounting, drama. I need. I don't see it. I think you guys are all sitting math on the same day. Yes. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So there's only one math in to put in there. Okay. And then I told you guys the deadline for internals are the 25th. So biochem internals do. Oops, didn't want me to take that one off. All right, cool. All right, so that's just a few examples of you guys. Obviously, you guys have other subjects as well, but I just want to put a couple in there to show you guys strategy when it comes to studying. So um, you guys go on study leave on the 25th, so I'm mindful that when you're making plans for this, sorry, the first, so when you're making plans for this week, obviously you, you plan in for school things and things like that. Um, the thing that I want you guys to remember is when you guys are studying, don't feel like you need to study everything at once. So if you're trying to study math, English, chem, and bio all at the same time and doing a little bit each day, you're going to overload your brain and you're not going to be able to learn the material and the depth that you want it and in, in the detail that you want it. What I did at university, and I know it's going to feel really anxious and counterintuitive to do, is study your first exam and then switch gears. 
So basically, what I would suggest you guys do, since the math exam is the first exam that you're sitting, spend the first week of study leave just studying math. And I know that's going to be like, oh, but bio, but chem, but this, like, it'll be okay. Study all you can with math, load and cram as much information about math that you can into your brain. Then you dump it on the math exam, go, it's basically what I did when I was at uni. And then once that was out of my brain, I then intensely studied my next subject. So in this case, since English and chem are so close together, you prob you would study both of them um, during the next week following. Does that make sense? Yeah, and that is a better exam strategy because you're not spreading yourself as thin. Because if I was trying to study math, English, chem, and bio all at the same time, I won't be able to hold that information together and I won't be able to make as in-depth links that I normally would make. If I study based off of the exam order, I can then really focus in on that one exam, get it really, really well, dump all that information from my brain so that way it's not ex like using any more of my memory and then start loading the next thing. You might want to do a little bit of English and chemistry study, but it would be very low on your priority list and it'll be very small, minute amounts. Does that make sense? And then after you have your chem and bio exam, you have a whole week to study just biology. So do you understand that strategy? A bit? So I, I understand it's kind of risky because in a sense that you're not studying everything and you're kind of leaving things till last minute, but you can use this time to study really intensively then for one subject and learn it really, really well. That's the strategy I used at university and it was fine. And then with those biochem internals, like I said, if you want to finish those off after you get some of your exams done, that's fine as well. Because again, your brain can't hold everything. The only downside is after the bio exam, you only have a day to kind of do bio stuff. So if you probably want to do some bio internals earlier if you're doing that. Are you okay with that so far? So that's my first bit of advice for you guys. The second thing is I've organized it so that way you have three little slots and I just basically chunk the day into three components. The morning before lunch, uh, the afternoon, which is between lunch and dinner, and then the evening after dinner times. So I have just given you guys three boxes because that's the way my brain likes to think. But if you want to do something hour by hour or two hour by two hour slots, you're welcome to uh, right click and insert um, another row so you can have more on your to-do list. Does that make sense? So it's up to you what you guys want to do with that. I just, in my brain, I like to study in three chunk times and that's how I divide it up. Um, when you are making notes about what to study, let's say I have done my math exam, so in the next morning I'll take a, a rest and then uh, I'll start studying for chemistry then. I don't want to just write down chemistry as like what I am studying that uh, during that time because it's very vague. I want something specific that can hold myself accountable, so maybe I would write down that I'm studying the types of solid question instead. So that way I know specifically what I'm targeting. Maybe I'll say I'll do two past exam questions. Yeah? So that then gives it something specific that you can actually tick off and you feel like you've made progress. If you just write something very general and vague, you're not going to feel like you've accomplished something or you'll keep procrastinating it and you, you won't actually hold yourself accountable to something. So we want really specific goals. Um, the other thing, like I said, put things in order based on your exams. It could help to color code subjects, so that way you can see how much you're devoting to each subject. Uh, especially when you're doing things like this, you don't know that's chemistry, so you might want to color code chemistry a color. Um, the other thing I want you guys to make sure is to build in time that you know you'll be busy. Because I know a lot of you guys have part-time jobs. A lot of you guys have plans with family and your friends uh, or you're doing gym workouts. So put that into your schedule. So for example, Tuesday night, uh, tomorrow, not Tuesday night, tonight, yeah, tonight is prize giving. Uh, so co-curricular club prize giving. So you wouldn't be expected then to do any study because you have a social obligation there. Uh, maybe on Saturday morning you're working, so you're not going to be able to study that morning. Yeah? So it helps you keep organized what time you have. So if you're working all weekend, what that then tells you is that you really need to get study done during the week. Um, 
The other thing I would suggest you do is make sure you are planning in breaks because you can't work nonstop. Your brain will stop being as efficient. You need to give that brain a rest. And even though you're like, oh, I'm going to work and I'm, you know, stacking shells at the supermarket, I'm not using my brain, you're st- or not using your brain as much as you would studying, you're still draining yourself. It still is taking out your energy. So do plan in rest time. So like, for example, um, maybe after your math exam, you won't do any study for the rest of the day, or maybe you, yeah, because you're gonna have your math exam in the morning. And then maybe you'll do rest and rest. So you won't have anything to do that evening. So that way your brain can allow it that time to not do anything. And then maybe the next morning you jump straight into studying. Does that make sense to you guys? Um, so it's a real skill set to learn how to plan study. Um, I personally like to see the whole big picture so that way I can plan day by day what I want to do. And then you can always transfer it into your phone as a calendar being like, this is my to-do list for today. Um, so I hope that kind of helps you guys figure out how to manage this. Um, what questions do you have following up from this? You guys okay? All right, and you can put in, like I said, other assignments. You can put in internals that are due. Um, I know I'm pretty flexible with my internals, but I know other people might not be. Um, so I'm just gonna unyellow this. So that way it's not all yellow for the next good, because I was gonna show this to my other classes as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically the idea of this. And the other nice thing about this is I put in little tick boxes, so when you get it done, you can little tick it. Click it off and tick. Yeah, so that's that's really enjoyable to do. Um, so yeah, that's how I would organize yourself. Um, but like I said, feel free to edit and change it. If you want more space, you can write a longer to-do list, or if you um, want less space, uh, but I figured three is probably a good number because it's morning, afternoon, and evening. All right, cool. Anything else? Moving on? Okay. Cool, so we'll talk about our study period, and I think that's all I needed recorded.